Okay, I'm going to talk about data binning. And one of the reasons why you do this is because some algorithms only allow for continuous variables, whereas others uh, prefer the data in a categorical or discrete type formats. Um, so, for example, with this data here, I have some continuous data. And I want to transform it into three bins. You know, right? So I want to say, okay, if it's above 0 0.75, give it this value, give it this um, this bin, name it this. If it's above 0 0.25 but below 0 0.75, give it this bin. And then if it's below um, 0 0.25, then give it this bin. So here I've done that. Okay, this is um, 0.98, so it's above 0 0.75. And so here we've transformed this continuous to categorical. Now we can use this using our we can do this uh, using our Excel Miner uh, software package. So here I have um, some data, and for example here uh, age it's in a continuous uh, a format. Um, uh, previously I have to go look at this, and there's 46 uh, unique ages, um, a minimum of uh, 23 in this data set, and uh, to a maximum of 67. So here for example I've I've plotted it out. I've, um, I've created a histogram, um, so you know here you can just see um, you know how it's distributed, you know across. So let's say for example we want to create um, five different bins of of ages. Well, uh, this is pretty easy to do within uh, Excel Miner. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to go to Excel Miner. I'm going to go to, I'm sorry, transform, and I'm going to say bin continuous data. Okay, so here I'm going to select age, and here it's, it says uh, the name of the bin variable. So this uh, um, you know, attribute that we're naming or we're creating is going to be called bin underscore age. Okay, so the number of bins for the variable. Um, this gives it a value of 19, but we don't want that many. We want um, five different bins. Okay, so now here it says, this is important, um, it says bins to be made with, well one we could say equal count, you know, so um, depending on how many uh, instances we have, it will just divide it into that many uh, number of bins. So um, the bins may have, um, you know, different uh, interval lengths. Um, Okay, so with equal counts, um, maybe we have um, a thousand instances between um, the years of the age of 20 to 30, and then we have, you know, a thousand instances between 35 and 40, and then we have a thousand intervals, uh, a thousand instances between uh, 40 and 60. Uh, the interval links are all very different, but um, um, we have an equal count. Okay, so this equal interval now, it's where we just have uh, equal uh, um, 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 length of, of the, the bins. So maybe each contain uh, uh, 10 years uh, worth of data. Okay, so let's go with um, equal count. Okay, and this says uh, start at 1, and so the first one will be, if we have 5 here, it's going to be 1, um, second bin will be 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this is interval now. This is kind of weird, but it. Um, but what this means here is this is just naming the bins. So, for example, the first bin would be named one. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. So the the first is one, the second is three, and the third is five, seven, and nine. But. Um, um, makes more sense just name it um, just one for example okay and then we're gonna say apply this option to the selected variable okay and check everything out okay 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 so this is our age this is our, our continuous and this is our bend um, our bend um, attribute that we just created uh, our categorical uh, data. Okay, so let's let's check this out here. Um, 
I'm going to go and explore this. I'm going to use the chart wizard. I'm going to look at the histogram. I'm going to say frequency. And then finish. Okay, so this is our age. And now let's color this by the bin. You know, so for example here, you have um, you know, a thousand between this age and this age. And then just because uh, um, you know, we're, we're counting in, in, in twos here, um, it looks as if it's kind of split in the middle here, but it's um, 34 and 35 is actually the blue, which is the first bin, the second bin, third bin, fourth, fifth. Um, bin, so you can kind of um, you know, see this. So this is the continuous with uh, the, the the bend ages on top of that. Okay, now we can do the same thing um, using the other. Okay, here I'm going to call this bend uh, equal interval. Okay, and let's just let's, this time let's have two and um, equal interval. Okay, apply. Okay, so now we're going to have two um, two um, bins, and they're each going to contain um, the same um, uh, length of um, data although each one may have a different uh, number of instances. So let's visualize this. Oops. Create a histogram. Okay, once again we have the um, our age, our continuous, and then I'm just going to show you the bins with the uh, equal interval. Okay, you know here it's just split up into two two groups. Each one has an equal number of um, of, of of years within it. But it actually looks like we maybe have uh, just a little bit more um, data, uh, possibly within the yellow within um, group two, possibly. So these are probably a little bit unequal, although probably pretty similar. Whereas if we had chosen the other, uh, we would have had the exact number of um, instances in both. Okay, thank you.